Hello. I'm Dr. Valentin Varoshev. I've been in the field since 1989. I believe that education should be above or beyond politics because education represents the most important human practice. Without education, we still would be living in caves. Miss DeVos, I want to congratulate you on the becoming the secretary of the U.S. Department of Education. Some people say the U.S. does not need this department at all. I say this department is as important as never before. Let me read some quotes. 75% of employers say that it is difficult to find people with the right skills to hire. The number of U.S. citizens and the permanent residents earning graduate degrees in science and engineering fell 5% from its peak in 2008. At the same time, the number of students on temporary visas earning the same degrees soared by 35%. And uh, nearly a half of PhD aerospace engineers and uh, over 65% of PhD computer scientists and nearly 80% of PhD industrial and manufacturing engineers were born abroad. It is one thing if you have 100 vacancies and you have 100 applicants of a foreign origin and you have 100 domestic applicants. In this case, businesses are searching for the best talent between competing professionals of a different origin. But when you have 100 vacancies, 100 applicants of a foreign origin and zero qualified domestic applicants, it is a clear sign that the system does not work the way it should. The numbers say that the U.S. system of education basically does not produce any more, neither scientists nor engineers, except people who came from abroad. The country has become dependent on foreign intellectuals in the way it was dependent on foreign oil. Today, America still imports oil, but is not addicted to foreign oil like it was in the past. Today, America has become addicted to foreign intellectuals. What would happen if the countries from where we import students and professionals placed some restrictions and started using their people as a bargaining chip? Everything what is happening now in the Middle East can be traced back to the American addiction to oil. We don't want to repeat this experience because of a new addiction. I'd say the main strategic goal of the U.S. Department of Education is to make the country intellectually independent from importing foreign professionals. To achieve that goal, we need to start treating our intellectual health of the country with at least the same level of urgency we treat the physical health of the country. Ms. DeVos, as the head of the department, you will have to address numerous issues. My experience tells me that the central problem which must be addressed as soon as possible is the quality of teacher preparation. Maybe in the future, due to advancements in artificial intelligence and technological breakthroughs, our schools will not need any more highly qualified teachers, but until then, a teacher will remain the central figure of the whole educational system. If all our teachers were doing an excellent job, all our school graduates would be able to compete with the foreigners. And we do have excellent teachers, but 
evidently less than we need. Now, imagine for the moment that the number of good teachers remains constant. In that case, it doesn't matter where those teachers work, in a regular public school or in a charter school or even in a private school, they still will be able to teach roughly the same number of students, just at different locations. If we are going to make decisions which only affect a distribution of teachers, redistributing good teachers between different entities of the system without increasing the number of good teachers will not solve our current problems in education. Similarly, if we are going to make decisions which only affect a distribution of students using vouchers or other instruments without increasing the number of good teachers, that will not solve our problems as well. That is why when considering various decisions, they all should be probed by questions like how does it help to advance teacher professional development? Or how will it help to increase the number of highly qualified teachers? Well, thank you for your time, Miss DeVos, and good luck.